You may know our next guest as the comedy star from Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz, but his talent extends beyond zombie slaying and fighting crime. Oh, yes, it does. Isn't that right? Yeah, it does. Take a look. Super quick veggie shepherd's pie. Take your lovely big ripe tomato and chop roughly. Add to the pan, stir, shake, whatever. Then add your corn mince. Turn up the heat and fry a bit. Set aside and wash up everything you've used to this point. Add the mash on top, then grate loads of vintage cheddar on top of that. Cook later for 30 minutes at 180C to warm through and to melt the cheese. It's a really nice, easy meal, and my kids love it. Movie star and not-so-secret foodie Nick Frost joins us now to talk about his new memoir cookbook, A Slice <laughs> of Fried I Gold. I would probably, legally, I have to say, though, I wouldn't try any of the recipes. Because I've heard <laughs> there are some misprints and a couple of the recipes say four kilos of salt. Is it that <laughs> thing where if it's not a certain amount of dairy, you're not allowed to call it cheese? I, I don't know. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's got a bit of everything. But, yeah, I mean, steer clear of actually cooking anything. So how did this come about? Because I'm not seeing any pictures of food. I'm literally there's no disappointed. Pictures. <laughs> I'm really I'm disappointed. Lie, I mean, there's a lot of pictures of you. Think, Which is great, and I love you. you. Um, but no pictures of food, man. I think it's really expensive. I know that's boring <laughs> to put pictures of food in a book. But it was like... You'd have uh, to do a photo uh, shoot. Yes, exactly. But they said, well, uh, I think over COVID, over lockdown, I was putting a lot of food on Instagram. And I just got approached by someone to say, would you ever consider doing a cookbook? And I didn't... Uh, I just... I didn't want to do it at first because yeah. I, I, I'm always a bit unsure about the celebrity aspect of terms of... Yeah. OK, so I'm an actor, but... I cook a bit, but I'm not a chef, so yeah. why should I...? Life has no rules, though. I, I'm learning that, yeah. Yeah, you can but do so, whatever you want. But I got to a point where I'm like, I, I, yeah, yeah, why not? Well, but, also, there's, a re there's no reason why you can't do it your way. You don't yeah, have exactly. to do the same, like, you know... And that's why I insisted, no photos. Yeah. Uh, and who likes to look at food? Everyone. Uh, so, <laughs> damn! <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so I, I, what I did is I decided that I'd write a kind of a, a recipe book, but also a memoir... And there's stories in there, and there's kind of... It's, sometimes the recipes become weird bits of a little novel yeah. that someone's kind of so tried to So food is basically the, is the spine of it, really. Yeah, then yes, about, that's the heart, definitely. Well, thanks, because food was something you've... you've you've loved since you were a kid yes. and uh, your sort of complex relationship with your mum. Yeah. It was all about the, the stroganoff was kind of the centre point yeah. there. What that, was the good, that was the good bit, you know, uh, being in a kitchen with my mum and me kind of pulling the chair up to the, to the, to the counter and, and watching her cook and kind of pass things across to try or, or to tell, tell me off or a spoonful of gravy or, yeah. you know... Uh, and they were the good bits. I think and that's where we, what we can all relate yes. to as well. And also, I mean, the whole point of it is that's what I give to my kids now. So, it, in a way, they get to meet and to be with my mum Aww. throughout that. Because that's what we do. Yeah. yeah. That's what we do. Now. But recipes are so important. Incredible. And they are yeah. our history. They are our past. Yeah. You know, I, I was really adamant that I learnt my mum's recipes to pass that yeah, down completely. to my son. The thing is, not, he's not interested he at all. He will be, He will be. He's not bothered. He will be. Do you reckon? I yeah, hope so. Because I, I know he likes my food, but he's just not interested in making it. I know a very lovely old lady called Mary who has... She brought me her recipe book that she'd been... Uh, keep him for about 50 or 60 years and let me look through it. Oh, amazing. That's lovely. Are um, your kids interested in you cooking? I mean, do you even like the kids getting involved in I, your cooking? I do and I don't. Um, <laughs> I, I like them... I, I, like, I like them trying stuff. I think that's important. Um, so I, they can I, eat it but don't get involved? Don't, yeah, don't... What they tend to do is, as I'm chopping something, they try to put their hand <gasps> under the blade to grab, like, a strawberry or something. Because they're only young, so they don't... So I need to kind of get rid of them. But, uh, they you know... sort of, like, be there. <laughs> be, and come be in near me. Late, when they're a bit yeah. older. Yes, but, again, they're, they're good, you know. Bad. Uh, my youngest is, is, is two, and she's, like... She'll come in and she'll take a spoonful of gravy and she'll wander off and I'll say to my partner, give it three seconds. And then she'll walk back, more! <laughs> and then, you know, you start, you, I've got her, you know. We have to talk about pies, because yes. you, is pies your thing? You I do... just... I like a pie. I like... What's your pie all... of choice? I don't know why I have to choose. I like a mince pie. I love yeah, a mince pie. You mince graduated from... Yeah. yeah. Do you make your own now? Yeah. But do you used to... The, the, this love affair has been going on a while. I love a pie. But I grew up with those... Remember those bird's eye sort of short crust pies yeah. that your mum yes. would just have a couple in the freezer? Yeah. Are those the ones in the tin? The, yes. And then in the foil. One, in the foil. Yeah. And then you bang them in the oven. A couple of fingers of uh, milk on the top exactly. to get, yeah. get it brown. 
Yeah, I mean, there's a whole thing in the book about a thing called pies in a bowl, and that is just those pies in a bowl with, like, bisto gravy granules and yes. white pepper mashed up. <laughs> so, so, I mean, that's... I want one of those now. <laughs> I want it now. You know where you are you with pies in a bowl. come back on and cook for us? I'd do pies in a bowl next time I come on, yeah. Oh, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would actually be amazing. Um, we've got to talk about the fact your life was life-changing when you met Simon Peck. Yeah. Tell me about that time of when you was working in the restaurant. Just, I worked in a restaurant, I was a waiter, and I loved it, and I was really good at it, and a, a waitress came to work there, and um, I found out she had a boyfriend called Simon, who was a stand-up, and... I was like the funniest waiter at Chiquillo's. And so we like met and, and, and we got rid of Charlotte pretty quick <laughs> and we fell in love. That was the real love story. Uh, and we just, you know, we've been mates for 30 years. Can he cook? Because he, he's, done, he's done his time he's in the got, kitchens. No, I mean, he, he's, he's getting better. I think he's put a bit of effort in the last five or, t five or so years, but no, but not, not not because he couldn't, but because I, we, I did it, you know. Yeah. yeah. And if, I don't know, but, you know, I've known Nick for a long time, but I, I, I had no idea that the cooking game was such a, a huge thing. If you watch this guy chop, it's like... Oh, well, you, can just, you can just zen out to I it now. Really? Seriously. Oh, God, it's so lovely watching well, it's you, part of your watching you chop a knife. It is, yeah. If, I can, if, I've got, um, if we've got lots of stuff in the bottom of the fridge, like mushrooms and carrots and stuff like that, I'll always find it just calms me down if I can just really finally dice it down. See, know? that's the bit I don't like, is the chopping. Oh, I love I'd it. love you to come in and do the chopping, then I'll just do the cooking. All right. I want it all done. Yeah. All right. You nice. could be my seuss. I'll come and, yeah. Uh, You've been in, uh, we've only got 30 seconds, but you did some fil from filming in Finland as well. Is that a new film? It's a 35 second answer, so I, I can't, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, yes. I um, mean, I can't talk much because of the sex right, but yeah. Finland's amazing, uh, so. That's the end of that Hopefully answer. When the strike is over. <laughs> that, yes, in I 38 can't seconds. More about <laughs> just being <laughs> thin. Yeah, for real. <laughs> this is the book, A Slice of Fried Gold, which is what you are, Thank young you. man. Thank, Thank you. Thanks for having Thank me. Thank you so Lovely much.